Welcome everyone to the first ever Edmonton Direct. I'm Madison Cote from the Edmonton Screen Industries office and we're so excited to bring you this event. The ESIO catalyzes the screen industries here in the Edmonton metro region and that includes our beloved video games. We can't wait to show you what's in store, so stay tuned because you're in for a ride. Hi, my name is Peggy Garrity. I'm chair of the Edmonton Screen Industries office. And I'm here today to welcome all of you to Edmonton Direct. At Edmonton Screen Industries office, we're all about celebrating and encouraging all the wonderful screen industries that are happening in Edmonton, and especially all about our games. So welcome, enjoy Edmonton Direct. It's a celebration of all of the great games and things that are happening in our Edmonton area. Thank you, Peggy. We'd now like to move on to our land acknowledgement so we can welcome you all to this land that we call home. Hey, Jim. My name's Lyka Vance, and I'm a Twitch affiliate based in Miskwetchewaskaigan, or Edmonton, Alberta, on Treaty 6 territory, Métis Nation of Alberta Region 4, and the traditional territory of the Nahiawak, Nitsitapi, Nakota Sioux, Odnashone, Soto, Dene, and later the Métis and Inuit. I am so stoked to have been asked to take a moment to recognize and celebrate the lands and relationships that root all those who live, work, and play in Alberta. I know I can speak on behalf of everybody involved, the Edmonton Screen Industries Office, the Alberta Esports Association, and all of you watching this at home when I say how excited we feel to continue the traditions of the many ancient gathering places across the province, traditions of coming together, of making new friends, and of learning from each other that have storied this place for so many indigenous peoples since time immemorial. And with that, Good luck and have fun. Thank you, Natalie, for that wonderful introduction. We'd now like to introduce our municipal officials who officially welcome you to the city of Edmonton. Hi, and welcome to the city of Edmonton. I'm Mayor Don Iveson, and I'm thrilled that you're about to get a virtual look at the video games and esports scene in our city over the past year. You know, it's hard to imagine a year where digital connection, entertainment, and video games have ever been more important to us. With the impacts of the COVID pandemic, it is worth celebrating the games that carried us through, the games to come, and the people and industry behind them. And over the next hour, you'll see some of the great accomplishments delivered over the past 12 months and previews of what's next. You'll experience the work of students, independent developers and studios, and game development giants. And if you look beyond the games, you'll also get a look into the people, the cultures, and the city that make it all possible. And possibility is definitely the spirit of the interactive digital media sector here in Edmonton. We've been a growing hub for professional game development for more than 25 years. And we're not only the birthplace of the acclaimed video game studio BioWare, but also a city that continues to produce substantial homegrown talent and attract globally recognized game and esports companies from what were traditionally much larger scenes. Now, with a multicultural profile, world-class post-secondary institutions that educate, inspire, and connect the next generation of game developers, and a proven pool of technical, creative, and business development talent that turned dreams into opportunities for hundreds of people here in our community, Edmonton's success is, as you'd say in the games industry, by design. So we are proud of what we have to offer and proud of what's on offer from the people and companies that call Edmonton home. Game on.
this. Wow, that's so exciting. We can't wait to see what else Bioware has for us later on in the show. Now, we're gonna show you some games that you might have missed as they were just released. Strauss had finally done it. After years of occult experimentation, he now commands an army of demons born from hell itself. We've seen images, visions of other places. Our allies back in Europe were being routed by Strauss's armies. Reality itself crumbling at their incursion points. If we don't close those gateways, this war is as good as lost. My first priority is reassembling the squad. To regroup, to recon, to hit Strauss where it hurts. Together, the Mad Devils can take on anything. I know we can. Men like us? There's no question where we go when we're done. 
But know this, when it's your time and you cross over, we'll already be there, waiting for you. The Brass used to say the Mad Devils would march through hell itself to execute a mission. Let's not disappoint them. There are so many games that came out this past year, and we can't wait to show you them all. But now we've got a special treat of games that are releasing just within the next couple of months.
here's another look at one of BioWare's upcoming projects. We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched. Roger, copy. Eagle, Houston, you're a go for landing, over. Sure station. Unknown vessel approaching. We need first contact protocol. Humanity now stands at the partners of the Delta. Hot is away. That's me. In Edmonton, we're blessed with having so many indie studios, so we'd love to show you a little taste of what's come out in the past, as well as a little bit more of what we'll see in the future.
While we have a rich tradition with video games in our city, we have recently welcomed two more AAA studios to the city. We'd love to show you a little bit more about Improbable Canada and what they're up to in the city. I've been playing games a long time, and I can remember there was a demo disc available for Final Fantasy VII for the PlayStation. So I raced out and had to buy another game to get that demo disc. And then I ran home and I, I put that in and played it. Uh, I was just blown away. It was such an amazing experience. It was just changed forever as to what you could do with games and how much hard work and how much uh, amazing technology and amazing craftsmanship went into those games. So I guess like a lot of folks, I started playing games when I was a kid. Got an Intellivision for uh, Christmas in 1984 when I was 10 years old. My other friends had Ataris, so we had all sorts of games we could play and we would run around to the houses and we would play Atari at one friend's house and come back and play Intellivision at our house and we were constantly playing games. It was a hobby of mine for you know, a good 15 years after that uh, and then I was fortunate enough to uh, go into computer science uh, here at the University of Alberta. And meanwhile, a studio called BioWare was just growing up here in the city. They were looking for uh, new folks to join. And uh, I applied and uh, was lucky enough to be selected. And I worked on the combat and dialogue systems for Star Wars Knights of the Republic. And at that point, I started taking on more and more management leadership roles. I worked on the combat system and oversaw the combat team for Jade Empire, and then went on to Dragon Age Origins and started working as a technical director on that. I think the most important part of any game project is still a passionate team working on it. They've got to believe in the idea and love it. That is still uh, the heart and soul of the industry, the need for passionate people to work on it and to pursue those ideas. Uh, there's a lot better tools we have now, there's a lot better processes we have now, and I think our industry continues to mature, continues to want to embrace those processes, and that's a great thing, and that's why I got so excited about Improbable, the idea of giving uh, world-class developers better tools and better process to help them build their multiplayer games especially, is a really, really important mission, I think, for the company. I don't know if there's anything more special than bringing a new world to players for them to immerse themselves in, to be a part of. Uh, we're building a new IP here to, to help do that. And uh, for players to come in at the scale that we can now do these virtual worlds, uh, it's a super cool opportunity. I have really uh, high hopes and ambitions for this place here at Edmonton. Uh, I couldn't be more proud of the team who works here. Uh, it's just, it's an amazing group of people who really care deeply about what it is they want to build and the experiences they want to give to players. I want to keep uh, challenging this team to do their best work and keep uh, learning from them as they find these new interesting places to go with our game.
I really do believe that the long-term future for industry is virtual worlds and, and people being able to experience these things and giving uh, players the choices of um, autonomy, mastery and relatedness and letting them decide where they want to go and how they want to do things and who they want to be with, who they don't want to be with, etc. Is, uh, is absolutely the future. It's just a matter of when. I think it's going to come sooner than we probably think, but uh, I want to be there for it. On May 15th and 16th, we'll also be partnering with the Alberta Esports Association to show you every side of video games, including competing. We're so happy to show you what the esports ecosystem is like, not only in Edmonton, but across all of Alberta. We'll be showing you exactly what it takes to compete, and you can feel free to enter for yourself. The Alberta Esports Association is a nonprofit organization dedicated towards fostering the growth and development of esports within Alberta, Canada. We are building industry standards that protect our athletes while delivering events and increasing engagement from players, academic institutions, and local businesses. Our community-first approach strengthens the collective voice of local communities, removes barriers to participation, and advocates for the esports industry within Edmonton, Calgary, and across Alberta. Our values are collaboration, inclusion, growth, accountability, and play. ASA believes esports is for everyone, and we strive to grow both as an organization and as a community. We are committed to quality, reliability, safety, and professionalism while seeking to create a safe, fun, and competitive environment for all. For more information, you can visit us at esportsalberta.ca as well as follow us on our socials at esportsalberta. In Edmonton, we're so lucky to have so many gamers who are willing to give back, and we've had many, many charity initiatives over the years. If you'd like to learn more about those charity initiatives, we have a little video here from our friends at Extra Life, but make sure to check out the panels that we have featuring even more ways to give back. We know it's been a very long year, and we're so proud of all of the accomplishments, especially from our students from the University of Alberta. We'd love to show you all of their games mashed up in this wonderful montage, but if you'd love to see, we're also giving away all of their awards live on May 15th at 5 p.m.
We're also so excited to show you an exclusive look at the new gamer space at Edmonton Public Libraries. Make sure to check out the space downtown when you're able to, and you'll also be able to play some of those UAlberta Alberta games that you got a chance to see. When I was 13 years old, all I wanted to do was spend time in a room that had every video game that I ever wanted to play. I believe this is heaven. Can you tell us exactly what this is? Yes, welcome to the gamer space. This is truly a one of a kind space in the library world, and we have all sorts of gaming opportunities in here for you. Now, for those of us who may have a specific kind of game that we want to play or specific platform we want to play, do you cover everybody's needs and wants? So we have 10 Alienware gaming PCs with really nice 32-inch curved monitors Ooh, to really monitors. immerse yourself in those games. Uh, and we'll have access to all sorts of online gaming opportunities on these machines. Uh, we have all sorts of launchers, Steam launcher, Epic Games uh, for people to come in type in your library card number, and access all those games on the gaming PCs. And what about the consoles? So we have a PlayStation 4, we have an Xbox One, and we have a Nintendo Switch. Okay, the important question, if I'm playing the Nintendo Switch, do I get to play Super Mario? Absolutely, we'll have Mario and all his friends and all their different games loaded up on that Switch. Okay, and if I am of a certain vintage or a certain generation, the arcade cabinets, can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, we have two arcade cabinets where there's no quarters necessary. No quarters? Free credits. One's a two-player cabinet, one's a four-player cabinet. Each of them have thousands of games on them for you to choose from and cycle through. And are you saying that with no quarters, I have unlimited plays? Unlimited! Okay. <laughs> Obviously, we want you to make sure you take turns though too, right? All right, um, one more question for you about this space. Are there gonna be special events, maybe some challenges that people can play against each other? For sure. Our team here is probably gonna look at organizing some sort of tournaments, esports. We might even tap into our local gaming community. There's all sorts of gaming experts in and around Edmonton that we'd love to bring in and have chat with our customers. Well, excellent. And are you gonna live stream some game so we can see a tournament and uh, uh, cheer for our champions? I hope so. It's not out of the realm of possibility. There's lots of technology in here for us to tap into and we'd love to share that with the citizens of Edmonton. All right. Thank you, Dan, for taking the time to show me the gamer space. It's a dream come true. Everybody's welcome in the gamer space. Make sure that you put May 15th and 16th into your calendars right now so that you can join us for all of this exciting content as well as the live tournaments. With so much excitement, we've got one more special treat for you. Take a look at the next installment from BioWare. I faced tyrants and would be gods. Seen friends lose life and limb. But there's always someone bent on breaking the world. It's time for a new hero. No magic hand. No ancient prophecy. The kind of person they'll never see coming. We've got your back. I've got your back. Demons, dragons, dark spawn. Even the dread wolf. This is your story. Thank you all for tuning in to the first ever Edmonton Direct. We can't wait to see you all on May 15th and 16th when you can get your tournament shoes on and we can see you all compete. Until then, have a fabulous week and we'll see you soon.